Let me make it clear, Mr. Speaker. This is not a signal for people to start consuming cannabis irresponsibly, especially in public spaces. To get respect, one must give respect. And I mean, one must respect other people's right to breathe clean, smoke-free air. There are people with conditions such as asthma, allergies, and COPD, and other respiratory symptoms that may negatively be affected if you spoke in public, Mr. Speaker. By improving the regulatory framework in the Misuse of Just Act, people are able to smoke 30 grams of marijuana without being arrested or charged by the police. The Prime Minister went on to highlight that through the improvement of the Drug Prevention Administration Act, the government of St. Lucia will now be able to address the public health issues associated with consumption. These include underage youth, the predisposition to psychosis with cannabis being a trigger and dosing. The government, he explained, will now be able to roll out its national education program, which will include prevention and harm reduction strategy. Minister for Youth Development and Sports Honorable Ken Casimir, while expressing his support for the bill, cautioned the young athlete that the drug is still recognized as being illegal in the world of sport. Though this bill may pass in this lower house today, marijuana is still considered illegal by the World anti doping Agency, WADA. Despite being decriminalized in many countries and states, WADA defended the ban on cannabis in a paper published in the Journal for Sports Medicine. Citing a study on marijuana's ability to reduce anxiety, WADA found cannabis could help athletes better perform under pressure and to alleviate stress experienced before and during competitions. So to our athletes, according to the governing board that is charged with the responsibility of mitigating fairness, marijuana in any quantity is still banned. So for those of you who followed the recently completed Olympic Games, one of the fastest women in the world, Shakari Richardson, was banned from this Olympics after they found trace amounts of marijuana in her system. So I certainly would not want this for any of our hard-working athletes. Minister for Tourism, Investments, Creative Industries, Culture and Information, Honorable Dr. Ernest Blair, explained that the government's move to decriminalize marijuana seeks to address historic prejudices. Honorable Dr. Hilaire indicated that this is being handled using a faith approach. The government also said at a previous sitting took legislative action to expunge records of persons involved in minor criminal acts, including the possession of small amounts of cannabis. Today, we're taking it one step further. It's not the complete process, but you are taking it one step further. We are now saying that if you are in possession of no more than 30 grams, which is not much more than something like this, Mr. Speaker, you will not and cannot be convicted for such possession. We now need to go on to the third stage where we will address issues of cultivation and distribution and those other issues relating to the establishment of an industry around the use of cannabis. Changes in the legislation have signaled a move towards establishing a cannabis industry that will not only provide revenue for the government of St. Lucia, but provide employment for the people in the future. 